<gasps> oh, oh God. I was like just trying to search for stuff that we're doing later. It's Friday, bitches. Yay! Yay! And I, I actually had today off. I know. Awesome. Fucking shocker. Ugh, I'm the usual chasing my tail. Get ready in time for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be like you. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to find all the links and photos and stuff we're going to talk about. Like, fuck. <laughs> Oh, I can't well, do it in a minute. Right, there's oh, juice now I... coming out of the power button. This oh, fucking mod, I swear to God, man. Nothing right. with problems with it. <laughs> anyway, sorry, hello everybody. Hi guys, <laughs> how's your week's been? <laughs> Eventful. Oh. Busy. Oh. Yes, I know. Not like me. <laughs> um, been on a diet. Dan and I have really got the thing for the diet now. I heard. Well yeah. done. Done so well. Yes, yeah, so I've lost a stone in two pounds so far. It's incredible. Well done. Dan has lost two stone. Like two stone, just over two stone. That's incredible. So we're getting there. So we're proud getting. of you guys. So we've got the Glasgow meet on the third. So my plan is to try if I can lose another half a stone in the next couple of weeks. And then if I can lose another stone between then and Expo, then that'll be a good couple of stone off me for the Expo. So hopefully it means I'll be better for walking around. And So, yeah. Hey! Okay, I'm missing the chocolate, though. I've just had, I've just had a wee sneaky chocolate. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's good. I feel, starting to feel better. It's Friday and you've been very well behaved, so you're allowed a little bit yeah. of chocolate. No, I have. Yeah, I sent the way to the shop to get me these because they're quite low in calories. So. Oh, crispy rolls. Mm -hmm. Those are amazing. Well, then, but no, we're starting to feel good. I think I've lost one chin. I've got about four to go, but I've lost one. So we're getting there. I have to I have to say you've got a glow about you. You're looking great. Yeah. I'm feeling better. I'm starting to feel a bit better. Yeah, you can you can tell sleep you've pattern out, right? But yeah. Oh, the sleep pattern the sleep pattern will come. You know, that'll I think I've just accepted that I'm an insomniac and I'm a night owl and that's the way I'm um, for life. But hey, I don't care as long as I'm still losing weight. That's good. Go to vape something, girl. Let's not even get a time. Can I on it? Oh, sweet. Well, um, there's no point asking you what you're vaping no, on. No, just carry on because I'm still sorting. I'm chasing my team as well. Okay, okay. Uh, well, do you want to go first, Sam's or? Sure, I'll, I'll go first. I've actually got a fair few things today, which is a surprise. Normally, it's just the one. Um, but obviously, <laughs> still you really the old faithful new D nephew. There's there's a response to fucking rating your nudes for you. <laughs> we do not need fucktards like you in this channel. Piss off. I all right, son. Come back when your balls drop. <laughs> Um, uh, that just amused me. So yeah, obviously the looks with the off next mesh, and in here I've got a weird mixture of cloudy lemonade and Enigma. Nice. It's just in between switching, and it just is a shit. Ah, right. Okay. I see you're, uh, at that, you're at that awkward stage where you're getting the two flavors. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have got new pods for the Vipe. Um, I got the dark cherry pods, and they're actually pretty good, so I'm using this. See, I've never found a cherry that I like yet, and does it actually taste like cherry? Yeah. It's I like a, one that tastes like maraschino cherries. It's No, it's like a a dark, almost fruits of the forest style cherry. Like, it's mm -hmm. a very, well, very like dark, that too. it's a dark yeah. cherry. It's not chemical like taste. <sighs> yeah, a little bit, but it's not overly so like i can beep it and it's comfortable so cool nice mm -hmm. and i have the amulet yes i did notice that on your wrist yes and in here is i that, have got is that freshly stolen from chris it is freshly stolen from chris <laughs> <laughs> i don't know whether he knows i've got it but i have so yeah if he doesn't know where it is it's uh on my wrist uh, and in here I've got Just Juice's Berry Nick Salts. I can't quite remember the name, but it's mixed berries. It's good. Nice. It's good. Mm -hmm. And then when my IPV decides it is going to work, <laughs> I yeah. am on the V3 Mini with uh, Enigma. When nice. it works. Yeah. 
if it was. Yes. We'll cover that, guys. We're coming to that. <laughs> um, awesome. But yeah, that's me. I've actually got quite a few setups today. I was organised. That's why. <laughs> You're organised. I'm not. <laughs> Who's going next? Bunny, go. Right. Well, I have. Uh, I'm as bad as Ames. I'm sitting here with quite a few around me at the minute. Um, I have the uh, Vipe um, E P V thing pen. What <laughs> call it? Uh, with the uh, wild berries pod in here, which I'm really very much enjoying. I have to say. I also have the Old Faithful AVP with um, IVG's Summer Blaze. Next salt in there. I have this little beauty. She's turning into the fucking pod queen. Oh yeah. I have this little beauty. Uh, where's my juice? There it is. That is the Artery Pal 2, which I'm really, really very impressed with. And in that I have the Snow Pear from uh, Zap E-Liquids Next Salt line in there. I, like I also, also have my Trinity Alpha. And where is it? And that uh, I have Deja Voodoo from Wick Liquors Next Salt. I'm salting out here, swear to God. I have my still working IVP3 with, uh, where is it? Yep, Boulevard Shattered. Fuck you. There. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I have also got the gorgeous. Yeah, we've got mods. <laughs> and in that, I have the, no, that's the rhubarb and ginger. That's the wrong one. You not today. I have the grapefruit sunrise from Vampire. Well, that time that oh. was gone in days. Uh -huh. And yeah. last but not least, <clears throat> I have the IVP VIT with the next mesh on top of that. And of course, the very lovely Enigma by our glorious sponsor, Mr. Chris. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's me. Yes. Thank Thank you. You. And so <laughs> I'd have no fucking clue what I'm on. Anyway, yeah, I've been doing this non stop, right? So, Chris, I need you to order my pods. Please, quick smartish, because that's my last pod. It's got a tiny wee bit in it. I've actually been relying on this quite a lot over the last week or so. I've also got this. Now, remember we, when we did the first kind of looks, I was a bit like that because it was menthol tobacco. Mm. It actually hooked me. <laughs> I keep coming back. Well, I was a mental smoker. And I keep coming back, and I'm finding when I have my coffee, this is what I'm picking up. Yeah. I've actually been quite enjoying that. Um, I have... The IVP3, and in that I have the wonderful Enigma. Um, but we'll talk about that then in a wee bit. I also have my Modus Black with the Orph Next Mesh in it, and the very, very last bit of Watermail Mojito from Vampire Vape in there, which I've been the bottle today. Um, so that's me. I'm all out of Vampire Vape stuff. I've tanned it. Um, oh, well, I'm, I'm not so bad. I still have about half a bottle of the grapefruit and about half a bottle of the uh, rhubarb and ginger. The uh, blue one disappeared in record time. <laughs> and um, the watermelon one got swiped by uh, the biggest bitch in the background. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Make sure that water, watermelon is really good. I've, I've, say. saved, I've saved grapefruit. I've got the pretty much <laughs> bottle. I'm saving that for a rainy day. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, um, the grapefruit one is absolutely amazing. I'm also on this, which broke again, but Zan, being the ma magician that he has, managed to get it going. Hey. But, but it's definitely got, it totally did nothing. Um, but it's definitely got a dodgy seal because I've got juice coming out of the button and out of the charge port. What? Yeah, there's definitely a dodgy seal in the 510. That's really not fucking good. That's no, really not good. Who's, holy shit. No. Yeah, so no. if anybody from IPV's watching... Uh, yeah, it works a couple of days and then it just kaputs. Control. It just kaputs. So, I mean, we've only had that since May, but we've not, I mean, we've not even really used it. We did the review and then... Chris, you're probably... Annoying because it's a great mod. Man. Chris has described IPV as internal pissing valve. That's not a leak, Gail. That's a flood juice. That's true. That's true, it's okay. absolutely, and it's really annoying because even using it, I'm getting, my hands are getting covered oh. and I hate that, it's like, you know. Yeah, slimy, horrible. And I'm annoyed because I really like this mod too. It's a shame, but there's obviously something been dodgy with the mod because it didn't work straight away for me, did it? It was, anyway. So, weird, weird. 
Yeah, so hello everybody, who have we got in chat? Uh, well, so far that I can see, we have uh, the gorgeous Jules, of course. Uh, hi, babe. Hello, we everybody. Are, our fabulous sponsor, Mr. Empire V Games, is in the house. Vape and Irish is in. Village. Uh, Village is in, yes. We have <laughs> the wonderful Victor Mullen in the house as well. Hi, Victor. Oh, the gorgeous Betty is in. Rog oh, hi, Betty. In. Uh, we have the biggest bitch in the background, Fate and Brew. He's there as well. Uh, who else have we got? Kev. Kev Smith's in the house. Yeah. Uh, Sammy, of course, our, our, our most favouritest spannering troll ever is <laughs> Mr. Sammy. So, hi, babe. Okay, <laughs> Andy's in. Nudie Nephew's been banned, so, you know, he's out. Well, uh, he was in for a while. Yeah. Guildfly, <laughs> Guildfly 51, good evening. Who else have we got? Of course, the fabulous Stevie. Mr. Deli Gaff Porter's in the house as well. Um, hey, Andy. Mr. Sibold's in. Mr. Machismo's in. Good evening, sir. Yeah, Tetley Man's in as well. Yeah, we've got a full house tonight, girls. We have. We've also got Colette in. Welcome, Colette. And Um, We have Chris in. Chris Burns. We have... We have uh, VBZ123. Yeah, we've got quite a few in, so thank you all for joining us. Uh, Andrew Porter's in. Thank you all for joining us. Again, we really appreciate it. So before we go any further and we go into our reviews, there's something that we want to address. Um, yeah. Now, you all know that the bitches, we don't do the whole drama thing. We never have, but this is something that's quite important that we felt we had to address. Um, I was scrolling through my Facebook earlier on, as you do, and there was a news article come up from the STV, Scottish TV News, and a picture came up and I thought, that looks like Smurf, Vape and Smurf, and clicked on it and it was right enough, Vape and Smurf. So you'll see I've put it into, there we go, Bruce put the link in. Uh, it's also in the Bitches group. We've tried to share it out to as many groups as we possibly can as well. Hi, Breeze. Hello, Hi, my Breeze. darling. Thanks for coming in. Um, so we've tried to share this out. So to my massive surprise, I read the article and it turns out that Vaping Smurf, who we all, we all know from the chats, um, not just in our, our show, but in a lot of the shows. He's been in the vaping community for about two years. Some of his known personally from the, the Glasgow meets that we used to, you know, he came to, uh, is a paedophile and has just been convicted of attacking an 11-year-old girl. Has previously served a sentence of two years and we're just, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I feel sick to my stomach. Um, because if I'd known this when he, he turned up at the meet, the first meet that we organised, um, I would have jumped in his fucking heat, to be perfectly honest. Um, now, we don't want to turn this into a big, you know, this is a big story about Smurf, because it's not about him. We just think it's really, really important that people spread the word about this, because I personally do not want somebody like that involved in the dating community that I'm involved in. As a yeah, I don't. I do not want to be associated with that level of scum, and I cannot. I, I'm still getting my head around the fact that for two years I called him a friend. Well, this is the thing. Do you know what I mean? And it, he, we did call him a friend, and he's, you know those that have been to the Glasgow meets, they'll know that. Um, you know, we welcomed him with open arms. He came in the first time. He came in, and I cuddled him, and. All of us who attend the Glasgow meets have, have worked really hard because he always seemed anxious and socially awkward and shy. Now we know why. Do you know what I mean? But we were fucking, we were trying to help him and, and build his confidence and bring him into the community a wee bit. Yeah. Um, but I, I need to say this because I think it's really important that I think we need to address this and get this out there over today and tomorrow and then drop it because I don't want to give the scumbag any more publicity than he deserves. Agreed. If anything, you know, it's these victims and these poor children that he's hurt and their families that we should be yeah. highlighting and our thoughts should be going out to. Um, I'm just, I'm absolutely, I'm gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked. And if I see the, excuse my French guys, I don't see things like this very often, but if I see the wee cunt again, I'm going to jump in his head. So, there, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. You better not fucking show his face anytime soon. He won't be at the or next any time within, Anytime within the next thousand years, he better not show his face, because, uh, yeah. 
It's not going to end well for him if he does. Well, when I, when, I, when I found the article, I showed Zan, and the two of us were absolutely gobsmacked, and um, we shared it to uh, Stevie and Jules and Vic and, and Sloan and, you know, the people that all go to Glasgow, meet Gary and uh, yeah. Stevie and that, so that they, oh. they knew, and, and then we've kind of tried to share it out as much as possible. I think it's really, really important that we fucking... Don't lose too much weight, Gail, then when you jump in his head, you do more damage. Gosh, don't you worry, darling. Don't you worry, he would fucking know. Um he's so yeah, he's in he's in on remand. Uh, he's in prison. Um and he's getting sentenced next week, as far as we we know from that article. Now it came out in the article and I know that I've not had a chance to look at it because I was chasing my tail to get ready for the show. But uh, I know that Dean Devil Vapor's done a wee bit more digging and discovered that, you know, he's, he's previously been done for these things and there was a, a protection order out and various other things. So, um, yeah, just the... Uh, yeah. Uh, if somebody, if it's, do you know, it just, as a parent, as a human being, just thinking about. If any, I would do time. See if anybody came near my kids, I would fuck it. I would do time for them. Mm -hmm. I would. So what I so we just we wanted to address it. So I'm asking everybody in chat. The link is there in chat. It's also in the bitches group. We've put it in Chris's group. We've put it in all that we can, you know, that everybody knows. Everybody will know him. Hey no, how you doing, my darling? Um everybody knows, do you know what I mean? About who he is because he was always in all the shows. He's been around this vape scene for a couple of years. Yeah, he was everywhere, every show, every live. Just I have put a post on his personal Facebook page, basically telling him how disgusted we all are and how we all welcomed him with open arms into the vaping community and that as far as we're concerned, he's no longer welcome at any meets or anything. Um, because I just feel, guys, and I apologise if that's not your stance on it, but I personally don't want him anywhere near the vape community. I think that's just... That's a line way, way, way crossed. It just goes to show you just don't know people, do you? <sighs> yeah, he will. He'll get an eye when he logs in again. He's true. Um, there are no words, guys, that can even cover it, is there? No. No. Oh, um, that's, just, that's just, that's just why I'm so quiet, because I literally, I, I have no words for it. Yeah, I just, um, I went and removed and blocked him straight away. I don't want that sort of association anywhere near me. I don't want a, I don't want people coming up to me and going, I, you know him, don't you? It's like, no. Yeah, that's the occasion where that won't happen, pal, because the, the, the pedophiles and that are kept in sep separation from general population so that they're protected. So, that way's around it. It's that way, but it just shows you, you know, you think you know people and you just don't. Um, safe to say if he appears in any show I'm on you'll get an instant ban and the same goes for me village I'm afraid I just you know me too. and it might sound harsh but it's fuck all compared to what his poor victims are having to live with so he made his bed let him fucking lie in it <laughs> he's been removed on the other side please yeah you messaged me that thank you darling I appreciate that I just That's I don't think great. it's something that you know as a community, we should tolerate. No, 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 definitely not. Um, but for those of us who knew him personally, it's really quite a fucking shock. Really a shock. <laughs> However, anyway, that's anyway. that dealt with and done with. Um, on and yes, forget the wee bastard. So moving on. Now? Moving on to something happier, um, or maybe not in this case, shall we address the issue with the IPVs that um, everybody other than me seems to be having? Yes, go. <laughs> Ems? We'll let you go first. <sighs> Deep breaths, calm. It's a fucking piece of shit. Is what <laughs> it is. Right. There you go. Can we just fucking, right. So mine, constantly, two, three pulls, maybe four if I'm feeling lucky, and it reads no atomizer, and it is constant, constant. Like, it'll work for 
to sign it's going to work for a second. And then it just constantly, I've tried four of these little elf atties, tried all four of the ones I got sent and all of them do the same thing. And no matter what I do, cleaning it, screwing it on tighter, screwing it on looser, turning it off and on again, dancing a freaking jig, like nothing fucking works and it's constant. Uh, can I just say, sass weights? I've got the biggest ass and you've never ever been man enough, son, so fuck off. <laughs> um, but apparently it's only really mine. Like, you guys haven't had a problem well, with mine, but... I've had a problem, but I think it's user error, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So, right, yours is saying no atomizer, right? I have a dry hits on it. Now, I thought this was going to be the wonderful solution to me and my dry hits. Don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying it. I'm quite impressed with it, but I have been getting dry hits. Now, that, I think that's really because this empties so quickly and I keep forgetting to fucking fill it. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I'm, I've, I'm quite impressed with it. I've been enjoying it. Mine's doesn't auto squonk. I've got to manually squonk it. So that's one thing that is not working on mine. Um, <laughs> If I that told you, you were going to get dry hits on it. <laughs> exactly, bro, it was me, I know. It's decided um, to fucking work now. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I knew it would happen after all the problems I've had on a fucking live and it works. Yeah, it's just doing it just to make a dick out of you. Yeah. <laughs> so the first week I used it with the, the one ohm coil on it and I was in the, I was not impressed, I've got to say. It didn't, it really didn't do anything for me. I think it was just too high a, a, an homage for me and I wasn't getting the satisfactory hit off. <laughs> and I've changed it to the point three. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. I'm getting more of a satisfaction of a hit from it. Um, I've, I've tested it. I've, I've put it right up at the 60 setting and, and really, you know, let it go. It gets extremely hot. Extremely hot. Yeah, it's, other than that, it's no skip to beat. And I think just forgetting to fill that is obviously me and user error and being a ditz. Mm. But I have been I have been quite impressed with it up until now. The battery life I like because the battery life's really good on it. I just, I can't good evening. It. Oh, oh, good evening. Oh, I have just got a new follower. The yeah. Hickey Sigs have followed. So I know, my darling. There you go, guys. No atomizer. I knew it'd do it. Well, that sucks. And now it's working again. Because I have to say, mine has not missed a single beat since the day on our tomato box. I have had zero issues with mine at all. Yeah. Um, can I just address Guildfly is saying, sorry, girls wanted to ask. I'm thinking of getting an Aspire Gusto and replacement for my crap pod system for mouth to lung. Anyone, any experience with them? I haven't personally tried them, Guildfly, so I couldn't. I couldn't. I've I've not tried the uh, Gusto um, Guild Fly, but uh, I can highly recommend this little beastie. The Aspire AVP is absolutely fantastic. Or um, another one to consider, Smoke Nord. Absolutely brilliant kit. And Chris will agree with me because he's been using one for the last couple of weeks now and he's been sing highly singing its praises. So, yeah, you could do a lot worse than uh, any one of the two of these, to be honest. Yeah, you've been really impressed with that, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I suppose, I suppose it's good. But, I mean, I, I, I can never see past this. I love this wee Orion. I love mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, the Orion. So good. It is. It's great. That's the smoke version of the Orion, basically, which uses the same coils as the Nord. So yeah, you know. So again, that is another another one to consider as well. Absolutely fantastic. We basically this. I just I can't believe this is working more than it has <clears throat> the past two weeks. <laughs> but do you know? Do you know what it is? I blame money, right? Because see this fucking touch screen, right? I sit here all day and I'm like this, trying to fucking work it, and I go and I call with her and she'll go, you press that and you do that and it works like that. Mm -hmm. you, run, you run your thumb down it slowly press quickly oh there we go no optimize it no so it does it, do, it does do it fucking just did it see anyway 
See, I'm just that damn good. Yeah, of greatness, that's what it is. I'm just that damn good. Unscrew it. <laughs> Screw um, it. Again. I know, I know, right? No, Empire likes a smoke product. It's amazing. Welcome in, Jen. Thanks for joining us, darling. You weren't going to get to keep in quietly. So hey, Jen, darling. But yeah, um, I have to. I have to agree with Chris for saying. Um, I am not the biggest smog advocate on the planet. In fact, everybody pretty, no, pretty much knows my views on uh, smog sub, sub on my coils. But yeah, these wee things have certainly impressed me. And if smog were to put as much time and effort into their sub on devices as they do into these, they'd be on a winner. So. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's now not reading it at all. And I can't even get it to fire at all. Right, pick up another pod or a mod, darling. Just put it down. We don't want you jumping on it. I've been I've been tempted to launch it so many times. Yeah, see if it was me, it'd have been launched by now. But we all know that. <laughs> um, we're we're uh, bringing you over to the dark side, Jen. That's what we're doing. Oh, she doesn't even have a Twitch account. She's wondering what us bitches are doing to her, and I'm saying we're bringing her over to the dark side. So, turned it off. Turn it back on again with no actual happy. <coughs> Fire in it, no. Turn it back off again. Put it back on. This normally gets it to work, normally. Back on. Nope, still not working. <laughs> and we've emailed them as well, haven't we? I have. I haven't checked the email to do though right enough. I don't know if there's anything come back. Um, but funnily enough, it will still let me squonk up and down. Yeah. How do when it's saying no atomizer? <laughs> so you're squonking into nothing as far as that's concerned? Apparently. Oh, uh, Gail, Vape and Irish is wondering, did you take the batteries out of the smoke alarm this week? It's unusually quiet. Oh, shit, no, I never. All right, well, prepare yourself, guys. That might be the weekly fire alarm show again. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I mean I'm 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 quite impressed with it. But right now I just need nicotine because I'm fucking raging with that we tip. Anyway, so it's witchcraft. M says true blue. That's very true. I'm trying it again. And uh, yeah. news flash: okay. Jen has retired her beloved dot com for an entire week because she's testing the Zeus X out for a friend. Not sure he's going to get it back. So I'm guessing you're enjoying the Zeus X then. Bloody <laughs> hell, Jen. That's a big statement from you. Yeah. So, yeah, my IPV is a piece of shit. Right, okay. Well, we're going to have to email them again. Because you can't do something that doesn't fucking work, can you? You see, this is the thing. Chris is carbon and has had problems as well. He had the silver version. His just auto fires all the time. Literally constantly. You turn it on and it auto fires until it drains battery and then it turns itself off. Well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. So, no, I have no idea. It seems to be just a problem with the, the carbon ones. Well, that's two IPV products, Gail, that you've had problems with because, you know, your VIT, your VIT has been giving you shit as well. I mean, Zan has just managed to fix it again, mm -hmm. right? It was totally dead this week. It just kaput, wouldn't turn on screen, nothing. So Zan... Um, dried it all out, cleaned it and dried it all out and that. And I've literally just turned it on before we come on cast here. And there's just, now this is not, that has literally just been put on it, right? And the FP hasn't been leaking at all. There's a tiny wee bit of condensation on there. I don't know if you can see it. Just a tiny wee bit of condensation, right? But I've got juice coming out of the fucking switch and out of the charge port. Hmm. So I have no idea, no idea. So yeah, I'm going to email them because that's, um, I think, to be honest and put my hands up, I think with this, it's user error, right? Because we all know when it comes to tech stuff, I'm a fanny. <laughs> so I think with this, it's probably user error and me just forgetting to maybe fill the tank as often as I need to. Maybe I've clicked buttons and not realised it and I've, I've turned a setting off. Hmm. I'll need to look into it a wee bit more because I need to actually spend a wee bit more time with it before I'll give my final thoughts on it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to email them because that's both of have My shit. I can't test it because it doesn't work. 
Mm -hmm. And I really wish it did, because I love it. The concept and everything's so good. And Chris's other one, the weird um, textured style one works, mm -hmm. like not skip to beat. Yeah, well, Jill, Jill's yeah. was saying as well there, there's uh, there's one of hers is um, playing up as well. She uh, Yeah, her gunmetal one's been playing up, but the black one's been great. Weird. So yeah, I honestly, I think it's the carbon ones that have the issues. Yeah. Because yeah. I've, uh, I've had this, what, two weeks now, and I've used it. It's barely, barely been out of my hand since I got it, and it hasn't missed a beat at all. Um, I did say the the one ohm atomizer was was fine it was okay but whenever it died to death thank um, you thank you Hersey. thank you when it died to death and i put the point three on it um i was more impressed with the point three atomizer than i was with the one ohm yeah yeah um, i definitely was i got a much more satisfying beat from it yeah yep yeah. and i've not had an issue with mine at all and it has been used very regularly oh, every day oh. since I thought. Oh no, it oh. works kind of. And now it's in our miser again. Yeah, this is what it's been like. Right, what did you bin Andy? Apparently Andy has been an Atty today for the first time, not like you. Hmm. Gail, the IPV did not use an error that's supposed to stop firing and tell you to fill your not meant to get dry hits. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know that, Rod. Yeah. I mean, I've not had it when I first set it up uh, and put the coil on. It automatically squawked, um, and it did that. <clears throat> but since then, when I fire it, and if it's dry, I'm getting a dry hit. I'm not getting. I'm having to manually hit the button to squonk it. So. You can see you stomping on that before the week's over then. Um, yeah, so this is our last week with our gorgeous M um, for three weeks. Yeah. yeah. She's going on a bloody cruise, the lucky wee bosom. I know, she's fucking off and leaving us. Yes. I am. I don't blame you. I'm fucking there with bells on. I was going to say, um, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not. I don't blame you. <laughs> I really don't blame you. I'd be there with bells on. So, mm -hmm. what are you going to take with you, vape wise? Oh, it was the uh, profile unity that um, Andy had to chuck in the bin. All right. Vape wise, I'm going to have to be very, very careful because uh, my folks don't know I vape. So uh, I'm going to have to be very, very careful. Right. <laughs> so stealth kits all the way then? Yeah. I mean, I'll probably take the amulet because no one's going to know. <laughs> How are you? How are you going to cope without the? Um, Fuck the that. Just tell them you vape. <laughs> You're an adult. Do you know what I mean? I Just, know. By the way, guys, I vape. I don't smoke a vape, and it's ninety five percent. Give them the fucking stum and the. the, the no, like yeah, nah, but yeah, I'm gonna have to be very careful. Mm. You can see him with, with a suitcase full of pods. <laughs> are yeah. you sneaky vape here and there? Just quickly in the shower, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I couldn't do that for a week. Mind you, we've not actually been on holiday since we were, we've been vaping. Our last holiday, we were still smoking, so uh, I don't know how I would do it. Right? How the fuck do you keep vaping quiet from your fix? Okay, so obviously, they know Chris has got the shop and everything. Um, they see me do videos and stuff with him, but they don't know that it's a like an actual thing um so my, my folks don't have facebook at all and i keep my facebook very separate from the yeah. whole vape inside of things anyway just f for that reason so yeah they're, they're pretty much off grid i think you might be surprised they might not be that fucking naive no i doubt I, they, they more than likely know but it's one of those yeah. Sorry. Own it, babe. Own it. You're a bitch after all. <laughs> exactly. Right, so let's have a wee look at some of the things. Uh, who's been on the group this weekend? Have you been looking at the posts I've been putting up? We've had some right fucking laughs on the group this week with some of these stupid things and Dawn and Des Turner and that putting memes and, and funny things oh, up. The memes have just had me creasing this week. Some of them have been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I know. Especially um, that one about the non-alcoholic beer. 
Yes. We'll let you go to the group and watch them. Yeah. Um, she would ruin her darling princess, cute and quiet, wouldn't hurt a fly image. If only they knew. <laughs> I see all your secrets are coming out now, Em. Yeah. Right, so bear with me, guys, because I need to go to the group to find what we're going to talk about. Because, as usual, Gilly Bob's <clears throat> not organised. Same. Oh, I'll tell you. I just, got in, I just got in the chat. There we go. Found it. <laughs> Right, so what we talked about first. What do you want to talk about first? I want to talk about the Innick and Adept kit. I'm happy to do that one. Because mm -hmm. I really like the look of this one. Yeah, I have to say I've been quite impressed with it. I That's do quite like it. the look of that one as well. It's the Adept Slide Mouth to Lung kit. Mm -hmm. I actually really like the look of this and it might encourage me to actually go back to doing a wee bit more mouth to lung let me guess you like the purple one yeah no, I, what would give you that idea I have no idea but do you like the, the plain purple or the, the patterned purple just gotta find them mm. uh, uh, to be honest I like both of them that's the thing. I'm I'm actually quite torn as to what one of the two that I do like the most. Have you got this, Brew? Can you put it on the screen? All right, hold on. I'll give it to you then. Sorry. <laughs> See, that's me. Da, 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 da. Right. So. Where are my pictures? Yeah, because I'm just like scrabbling trying to find it. <laughs> That's me being a fan, eh? What, you? Never. <laughs> I won that shit, you know what? Right, there you go. I'll put it into the bitches chat. Um, yeah, I really, I really, really, really like it. I don't know why there's something about it that just... Ah, oh, there we go. Sings to me. Hey Des, how are you I doing, like, darling? I, I really like the pattern hey, the purple one. Hey, Ewan. Hi, Ewan. I have to say the the plain purple one is very nice, but for me it would have to be the pattern one. Yeah, it's same. <laughs> minimal, there's oh, it is a really hard decision as to what one I like more. It's, but just because it's like different, I think it would probably be the patterned one. Same. <laughs> I'm the same actually, and I don't do purple. As you know, it's not one of my favorite colors. Mm. But I do actually like that patterned purple and the, the kind of greeny blue one. Yeah. Um, I do not like the camouflage green one though. No. That one just, no, that one just, but then, you know, it's basic market, and they're doing some that are marketed towards females and some that are marketed towards males, aren't they? They're yeah. covering their bases. Um, but I do like the look of it, I must admit. So, oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, God. Um, excuse me while I just open up my chat again. I closed down. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet to God, if I'd have been, it'd be dangerous. Um, Yeah, I do. I kind of, I do kind of look the look of it. I'm going to just look up the specs of it here. What do you think in chat, guys? Do you like the look of this one? It is cute. It's just it have to be trying to find because the the blue sort of metallicy tank on it does not match the purple, and that would piss yeah. me right off. So it's it's finding something that would actually look good enough on it. So it's an internal 3000 mAh battery, 5.5 voltage. Um, it's got a cutoff time of 10 seconds. It's a two mil capacity slide tank, which is a mouth to lung. Um, let's have a look and see. Resistance range is from a 0.4 to 3 ohms. It's a 510. Let's have a look. Uh, the maximum ohmage with uh, one ohm coil or above is 14 watts. Hmm. 
Um, the maximum ohmage for below one ohm is 17 watts, so it's a definite very full on setup. Yeah. Um, it detects your flight, your output anyway, and does it for you. Um, yeah, I, think I do. I like the look of it. I do too. And I think it would be a really good setup for a starter. It's something a bit different. It is. I mean, I've not seen like a, a setup like that that really caught my eye since the, since the Zelos with the Nautilus 2. But like, as a mouth along kind of kit that you yeah. know you could use for a length of time. So yeah. So where is it on the bitchometer for you so far, girls? Just with first looks. Well, with first looks on the bitchometer, it's uh, it's rubbing the tingly bits, definitely. Um, tingly bits? Tingly bits. Yeah, it's my tingly bits are tingling too. Yep, I like it. I do. So, very awesome. Let's have a look at the next one then. What are we feeling? Um, let's have a look at the Wismec one, right? So this is the new Wismec Rouleau Tinker 2. It's 200 watt temperature control kit with the trough tank, which is a two mil tank or it has the extendable glass, which can take it to six and a half mil. Now, I saw this, right? And I thought, that's another Aegis Legend Mini. Yep. Yep. Look more gross looking. Like it's, it's absolutely nothing like the original Tinker. Nope. It's the weird snake skin patterny thingy parts of it going on and I don't like it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I have to say, it's not pushing buttons for me either. Nope. I mean, it's if you'd wanted something like that, then I would buy the Aegis Legend because yeah. it's it's a well tested, well reviewed tank with a good reputation. Yeah. Right. It's been used for long enough. I know they've just brought out the new the mini version and all the rest of it, and they've got the rest of the, the line now. But um, Zan has a, a, a you know the bigger one the. The legend and it's never skipped a beat he loves it yeah i've still got my legends as well i've had mine for uh, a year and a half now and it hasn't missed a beat with me at all so i don't understand it's the same as like this right this came out and then all of a sudden every fucking company's making one that looks exactly the same as this i don't understand why companies are doing this um i know they're trying to cash in the money obviously but well, yeah why not do something different that's going to appeal I know, but it, it's one of those, like, oh, we'll take someone's design, make it look very similar, and appeal to the market that bought the same thing as before. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, no, I just, I don't get it. I don't <laughs> get it. So, I mean, it's, let's see what the specs are on it. Bo's, um, Bo's blames Tony P. <laughs> well, yeah, this is true. I blame Bunny. It's always Bunny's fault. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's always your fault. Everything's your fault. You yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's true. Especially, you know, if you believe... I blamed you for everything for three years, babe. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you see, look, look, the one person that should be on my side, he's in there with the hashtag Bunny's fault. Fuck yep. you. Yeah. So... Right, um, he could be minus another couple of teeth if he keeps going at this rate. Well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's 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 with the... Yeah. He had a wee emergency trip to the dentist to eat at o'clock yesterday morning. They can maybe have another one at fucking eight o'clock tomorrow morning. They keep that up. <laughs> Very true. So this this was this was make one. It comes with the trough tank, uh, which, as I said, is a two mil capacity, and it can go up to a six point five mil with the extendable glass on it. Uh, let's have a look. The coil zero point three five ohm coil or a dual coil zero point two ohm. An 810 drip tip, 510 thread. It's double 18650. 0.96 inch colour screen, up to 200 watts. Stainless steel compat compatible as well. It's, um, no. Out output voltage range, 0 0.5 to 8 volts. I literally could not give a shit about the specs. No, no. There's nothing there's nothing there that makes me want to go, oh yeah, fancy that one. No. Okay, uh, so thank you for sticking up for me. And um Irish, where is it? You can have that one. <laughs> 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 
Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so, right, moving on from that one then. It's fucking wank. Right, it's wank. Yep. We, we get it wank? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Kev Smith wants to know, could they design a mug around the shite that's in, or could they design a mod around the shite in Bruce mug? Stone. <laughs> Stone. Um, yeah, for me, I'm going to say pish. Because I've not used it, do you know what I mean? I might use it and be pleasantly surprised, but it's not right. one to go out and buy. It looks foul. So, yeah, I have to say it's um, it's the, the snake skin for me. It's just that, that pattern. Yeah, but see, the, the you just had that as well, didn't it? Not the one I had. Not the one yeah. I had. They did it with stabilised pissed, exactly. Right, so let's have a look then at the... Vape only V pipe mini kit. Oh, good God. <laughs> so, all these pictures are up in the bitches group, by the way, guys. I don't know if Bruce put them on the screen, but they're all up in the group that you can go and have a look. So, this one, I saw this and I thought, nah. <laughs> Just no. It'd be one of those things you bought as a piss take. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's something you get out of the pound shop for a Halloween costume. Yeah, that's that's the only marketing is people will literally buy one for a piss stick. Mm-hmm. The thing is, like, see with the pipe market, right? So I get it. There are some women that like pipe pipes too. I'm not making this as a gender thing, right? Um, but a lot of the, the pipe mods that have come out, the guardians and all that that have come out up until now, that they're, they're very chunky. Um this looks tiny. It looks tiny and it... it... It's Joe Use, it's a sex toy. <laughs> you said it, I didn't. I thought it, I didn't say it. <laughs> okay, so it's a ceramic coil, it's 360 mAh battery, a 3.6 volt. Right there. Mm. Oh, it looks like a tampon applicator. <laughs> thermometer says Chris. Yeah. Uh, it's 11 watts. Why 11? 5 mil capacity tank with a coil resistance of 1.2 ohm and the charging time is 45 minutes. Why 11 watts? Either make it 10 or 12. Like 11 is such a weird number. Why would you do that? Like us with the OCD, it's just not good. No, it's definitely not good. Um, <gasps> It's not pushing any buttons for me whatsoever, so it's right down there. It's completely crap. So on the bitchometer, wank, <laughs> completely wank. Yeah, wank for me too. That's. <laughs> it does. It looks like one of those air trumpets. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It really yeah. does. <laughs> exactly, Chris. You know it's why you hate being a reviewer. Sometimes I couldn't see anything good about that. Yeah. The thing though, do you know what I mean? It. We're giving an opinion on a look of a picture. We're not giving our opinion on, do you know what I mean, actually? It's using performance, it. yeah. Do you know what I mean? But. Yeah, but Jules is like, like Yeah, we're human, we're like everybody else. Do you know what I mean? You see something that catches your eye, you know, that's the whole point of it. Yeah. Anyway, right, okay, so that one, blank. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'd literally get on to take the piss. Like it'd be funny if Chris got sent one. I'd, I'd just, I'd use it just to be that person. <laughs> I, just, I just don't get it. Anyway, each to their own. Each to their own. But no, it's a wank from me. Okay, yeah. so moving on to the next one now. This one intrigued me, right? Because you all know I'm fucking fed up, sick to the back teeth. I've seen pods left, right, and centre. She says sitting using two pods, but however. <laughs> um, they're all the same. There's only a few that I've seen that are any different from the others, like the Swarin that's come out with the two batteries, the Pasito that we spoke about that's got yeah, the, the RBA. The deck, um, there's a cup, the, the Vapefly, Jester. They, that's yeah. a wee bit different as well. It's got a rebuildable deck. But that, so I saw this and I thought, right, okay, let's have a look at it. So this one is the new VXV RB Ceramic coil pod kit 380 ma with a charging dock i can make it easy like an easier name jesus christ i know right Not Plus good, we only bloody letters and shit 
not good for people like me that can't speak properly. Okay, just just call it a name. Don't just give it letters and numbers. I'm not going to remember what it's called. Yeah. So, what do you think? It comes as this kit in this wee case. Um, I like the idea of the little case to carry everything in. It's it's very well presented. Oh, yeah. I do and I don't because it's chunky as hell. Like, why not just charge it? <laughs> well, that's true. But you could, you could. I'm sure you could buy another pod, so you've got one there that you could put into your charger and keep in your bag or your pocket. And then really? you out when you're out and about. Uh, more than likely, but carrying the case around with you, like fucking women's jean pockets, aren't big enough for uh, a small not. phone. No, no. no, I stand zero fucking chance of fitting that in a pocket. Yeah, that's true. Because when you look at the picture of it compared to the size of a mobile phone, um, it's the iPhone X I've compared it to. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely royally fucked. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, no, there's no way that you'd fit that in a, a female jeans pocket at all. Maybe the arse pocket, but then you're going to fucking sit in it. <laughs> I've did my, I tend to take a bag with me every time I go out anyway. Oh, see, so I get past that for I me, it wouldn't really be an issue, but you know, for a lot of people out there that don't carry a bag with them, yeah, I can sort of see why it would cause a bit of a problem. I think for women who do carry handbags, I mean, I do it every now and again, but not a lot of the time now. Um, but then I don't go to the house very much now. But the, I think for women who do carry a handbag or men who carry a man bag, you know, it, it could be an option. It could mm. be an option. What concerns me is it looks like a fucking pencil case. It does. The patterns on it do not help. No, that's true. Um, so for me, it would be pish. Yeah, I mean, the, the patterns on it just look like a fucking shit near traditional tattoo. Mm. With the I'm swallows not, and the roses. Nah. I'm sort of on the fence with it. Um, so it's, it's a order in between a pish and a meh for me right um it's one of those i quite like the look of it i like the idea of having the little box and everything for it but it's one of those that i would really have to have a hold of one before i could give it one that i would like to actually review it's one yeah. that i would like to try and, and do you know what i mean review because i think it's with it having the charging case now it is a bit different from others that are out there yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Some some men carry man bags, Andy. Um, I mean, I could I could probably fit it in my bra. I actually, I I probably could. I wouldn't, but I probably yeah. could. <laughs> I mean, I can fit my fucking looks in my bra, so I'm sure I'd be fine with that. Yeah. So. It's a pish from me, it's a pish from you, and it's a meh pish from you. Yeah, it's a borderline pish meh. Right, okay. Pish meh. So we shall see. <laughs> Sounds like a scarf fund. Um, right, let's go on then. Let's have a look at the new Femax, it, oh God, Gem 80 watt starter kit, which is 2,900 ma. <sighs> Yet another stick mod. Another stick mod. And is that a disposable fucking tank on top? But you can change the coils in it. So why make yeah. it out of plastic? Yeah, but exactly. You know, okay. let's let's do our bit to save the environment by cutting down on plastic waste. And then what do all these companies do? Bring out disposable plastic fucking tanks. Anyway. But so it's a plastic tank with a chip like you can change the coil. But the whole point of a disposable tank was that you disposed of the tank. Yeah, you disposed of the whole thing. So, but they've given you that shitty plastic, which means you're going to be, you're going to have to be so, so careful what e-liquid you use in that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll not be able to use strong menthols or coladas. You'll not be able to use citrus, uh, aniseed or anything like that. Any of those real strong sort of flavors, because as we all know, they don't take too kindly to acrylics, do they? Yeah. yeah. So the specs on this, um, we have a 5mm standard edition and we have a 2mm TPD edition. Um, it's a mesh coil in the standard and a G2 mesh coil in the 2mm TPD edition. 
steel pyrex and PCTG material. Working watt is 20 to 90 watts, it's a 510 thread. It is 85 millimetres by 25 millimetres, so it's quite toty. Uh, a 2,900 mAh battery in it. Output, output wattage level um, uh, for 0 0.15 ohm is up to 80 watts. For 0 0.2 ohm is up to 30 watts. So the output voltage is 0 uh, to 4.2 volts. Um, Resistance range 0 0.1 ohm to 3 ohms. Power efficiency 95%. Lad of fucking bottom. Right, so it's another starter kit, right? Um, maybe I'm old and cynical, right? But I don't see any difference. Yeah, it's got a plastic tank, it's got a disposable thing, it's got, do you know what I mean? But I don't see any difference between that and the T18, the T22. The traditional, do you know what I mean, pen starter kits that have been on the market and that are proven to work again. It's, I've not tried it. It's not something I particularly want to try. Yes, it's smaller, it's it's shorter, but it doesn't fucking do anything for me. Fucking still not working. <laughs> I've given up, I'm on this. Thought Skittles. Nope. No. Now, don't get me wrong, I can see that there probably will be a market for it because it is obviously aimed at the starter. So oh. yeah, there probably there probably will be a market for it. For somebody, say, wanting to upgrade from, you know, your standard mouth to lung starter kit or a pod to a sub ohm device, there'd be a market for it. But it's that whole fucking plastic tank thing. It's just why but if I they mean put a decent glass tank on the top of it then it would have been it would have been getting a big thumbs up from me because those little mods love them or hate them they're convenient you can just drop them into your pocket there's very they don't take up very much space they're not heavy but you get a bloody good vape out of them so you know if it, it, it says it's a standard 510 though so you could put you could stuff on there you could i mean you could change it out and put your own your own tank. That may well be what they're intending. Can... They might bring out a separate tank for it. Yeah. That's not. Or if they give plastic. you the option, if they give you the option to buy the battery units separately. Yeah. Um. Then yeah. Again, it's just a, another typical stick battery mod type, but you know those are see. very very popular, and you know there's always going to be a market for something like that. I, I feel like they're intending to bring out a tank for it, just purely because obviously it's a plastic tank but you can change the coils yeah but I have a feeling that they're probably going to bring out a specific tank for it you think they've maybe rushed it out to market I think that that's probably what they're just like we just want to sell it for now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're working on it I feel like that's the only other thing just because it's it's weird for you to be able to change coils on a plastic disposable tank mm. <laughs> Yeah, no, if they bring out a glass top for the tank, then, yeah. It's a nice shade of blue. It's a nice shade of scuba blue. Yeah. I yeah. can't see scuba getting it. No. Do you know what I mean? It's, I think that's about the only good thing that I can say about it, in my opinion. But hey, so for me, it's a, it's a wank. Yeah. yeah. Stop saying that. <laughs> so it doesn't sound good. Husband says I need to stop saying that. <laughs> So, yeah, that was another no from us. Yeah, so, Did I put anything else in, girls? Remind no, that was everything. That was it. Okay. That was everything for the products anyway. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> for me, the adept is really the only thing that's kind of caught my eye of what I've put out this week, you know, to look at. It's out of all of those, it's the only one that I would actually make a point of going looking to buy. Mm. Would be the adept kit. Because I have to say, with with the the outflow of all these pod systems and stuff that are on the market at the minute, I've been thoroughly enjoying going back to my to long vaping. So the adept kit definitely would be one that I would uh, that I would definitely go for. Whereas the, those other ones, no, sorry, I wouldn't entertain any of them. 
So, uh, yeah, that was a kind of thing, wasn't it? So, I want to address something else that came up in the news this week. Um, the Philip Morris, who, who noticed the stories on Philip Morris this week, that um, Philip Morris's shares have went through the roof um, because of the sales of ICOS. Calm down, Em, calm down. <laughs> um, am, I, am I the only one... That Am I the only one that's a bit sceptical about the findings of this report? They're saying that the, um, in the articles that I read, it, that I cost a uh. 35% share in the Heat Not Burn uh, new starter market. Now, I don't know if that is for the US or worldwide or what. Um, it, the article I read was on Apple News. So, what's your thoughts? I'm, I'm very cynical. Worldwide, I, I can very, see. I am very, very cynical about the whole thing because if you remember rightly, when the whole ICOS thing kicked off last year, um, the so-called findings and reports and stuff that were coming out were later proven to be every bit as fucking, every bit as fake as Dolly Parton's tits. So I'm uh, very, very skeptical about this. They're, they're just, I think they're just trying to, because of the, the way the whole clampdown thing's happening in America at the minute, I think this is them just um, trying to find the right word to describe it, but basically just trying to make themselves sound better than they are to try and, you know, look good, if you know what I mean. They're trying to look good whenever America's in the middle of a shit storm as far as vaping's concerned right now, so they're thinking to themselves, Ha-ha, we can fucking cash in on this, boys. Then again, though, it's huge in Japan. <laughs> so, and I believe Italy as well. I believe it's really big in Italy. So, <laughs> this is so coming. Worldwide, I can. I can see it. But, um, yeah, I'm sceptical myself. I think it's obviously they've got to appeal to their shareholders and things like that. Um, I think it's, you know... A case of they're putting out there what they see as a success. Us as the converted and as the vaping community, do you know what I mean? Know that it's a pile of shite. We know that you're still going to get cancer. We know that you're just basically smoking. There's no difference. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they're marketing it as this, this wonderful new thing that's going to save smokers. Mm -hmm. um, we see through their bullshit, but they've got to do that for shareholders and, pe you know, because at the end of the day, it all comes out of that, doesn't it? Of course it does. Yeah. Um, but it pissed me off. I've got to say when I read that, it, it really pissed me off. Especially with what's going on in the States and what they're having to put up with over there. Like the, the Ohio state tax was, was confirmed yesterday. And I mean, the states, this, each individual state is now falling. Do you know that way? Um, and it's just, yeah, well, because Big Pharma's got a grip on it. It's heartbreaking. I feel so bad for our friends in America, do you know that way? Because it's like, what the fuck are you going to do, guys? That's the thing. There were so many people over here in the UK, especially, bitched and gurned and moaned about the TPD. Oh, it's going to mean the end of vaping. We're still vaping how and when we choose to. Yeah. And how and when we feel like. Look at what they're going through across the pond. You know, they're being told, no, you can't do that, or no, you can't have this flavour, or no, you can't have that because it hasn't been, uh, it hasn't been tested with this. And, uh, oh, no, by the way, um, that stuff gives you popcorn lungs, so we're banning it. Yeah. You know, so they're coming out. Yeah, exactly. As Jen says, they're being decimated. And I feel for people like Jen that has worked yeah. damn hard to set up her business and build up a good customer yeah. base uh, only to have the rug pulled out from under her the way it's going on at the minute. It's so not fair for people like Jen that have, how long have you been in business now, Jen? What, four years, four or yeah. five years? And, you know, in 10 months time, she might not have a business because of all this bullshit. Yeah, six years. Six years. Um, yeah, I mean, I was talking to Jen in that through the week, um, just to let you know, by the way, she's got a sale on this weekend, if any of you are interested in Higgies. Uh, they've got a flash sale on. It's 30% off your liquid and coffee, uh, nice. just for the weekend, if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I was talking to Jen through the week, and, you know, they've worked their ass off. It's their livelihood. And exactly. we all know, we all know, you know, I mean, that it saves lives, we know this, but it's like they're hitting their head off a brick wall. They're hitting you their think, head off a brick wall. You think Jen, Jen's just one of the people that we know that have businesses in the US. 
you look at all the rest of them that have shops, like a lot of ones that have set up pretty much the same way as Chris has here. He's, he's got his wee business going, he's got his review channel, everything's going hunky-dory for him. And there's so many people in America that have done things almost identically to how Chris has done them, that employ staff. And if this goes ahead, if this bill goes ahead and everything gets shut down in 10 months the way that the government in America wants it to, they're going to be putting so many hundreds of possibly thousands of people out of work. Yeah. They don't, they, you know, they're not thinking... They're they don't thinking give a fuck because the big boys and the billionaires are getting their fucking shares going up in price. They don't give a fine fuck. Yep. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're going about this all the wrong way. They would get more taxes from people. If to, it would benefit them to try and encourage people to switch to vape and encourage people to set up more businesses for it. We all know this, and I think to think anything else is naive, right? But we all know that they're deliberately killing the vaping industry in the States, right? So that the big boys can get their feet under the table, which they already have. Philip Morris, um, I can't remember. All well, the other I ones. think those, those people should be charged with attempted murder because they're trying to encourage people to keep smoking. And we all know what smoking does to the human body. So, And the, the amount of people that die every year through yeah. um, smoking-related illnesses, these people that are trying to ban vaping should be taken to court and charged with attempted murder because they're basically saying, well, you either smoke or, you know, it's you take our mass drugs that don't work. It is. It's mass manslaughter. The it thing is. is, right, my opinion, the way I see it is, is that they're, they're deliberately shutting down it's the vape true. industry in the States so that the big boys can get their feet under the table. The only vape things that will be available to people mass market will be ICOS, will be the jewels, will be the ones that they want to sell and give it a year or two years or whatever and then we'll start seeing a load of other vape gear coming back onto the market by these big boys. That's exactly what will happen because they want to funnel the money directly back to themselves to make up for all the money that they're losing out. I mean, Chris has got a point there. People don't need their health insurance if they don't get sick. Exactly. I mean, it's not just big tobacco. It's it's not big just big pharma. It's it's not just um, as as Vic pointed out. You know, like with the states and the <coughs> the mass settlement agreement. It's you know, there's there's a whole broad range of everything that you know they they have to in their eyes destroy the vaping industry, and they've went about it and they're doing it. If you want me to call in and explain this, send me the link, Gail. Are we happy to have Jen join us? Yeah. I have no objections to that at all. Right, my darling. Uh, oh, right. No, we'll have to, help. Yeah, we'll have, <laughs> to send her, we'll have to send her the Zoom link and uh, Someone will have to invite her. Sent to a breakout room then. So. Uh, Thomas, can you... Well, I'll send Jen the... Right, hold on. I'm coming, babe. Give me a minute to my head fucking watch this out. Mm -hmm. Um... Right, Jen, I'm going to send you the link. It'll bring you into a Zoom call and then ask Thomas to sit, add you to the breakout room. Oh, and my fucking messages don't want to load. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, shut up, Jen. <laughs> uh, copy. Do, 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 do. I can do this. Can yeah, do. it's uh, Zoom. It's like VC, only better. Yeah. This is why I was saying to you we don't really use VC anymore. Come on. Fucking messages don't want to load. <laughs> Chris has just said Mac OS, enough said. <laughs> oh, you shut it. I love my Mac. Nothing wrong with Mac. I can't break it. Well, supposedly. No, I can't get my messages to load to get James a message sent to him. Can you do it, Brew? Yeah, I haven't either, otherwise I would have done. Hold on. You've got our bunny. Yep. Just bear with me. My, my Facebook message thing's not loading. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, we'll get it to you, Daryl. But it just, you know, it's, it's just, it really rips my nothing. And it, it it's so, as you said, mass manslaughter. Mm -hmm. it? It's... And it's so unjustifiable. Even the World Health Organization and their stance towards vaping. 
Do you know what I mean? They're supposed to be the body. Everybody looks at. Have you done, Darren? Thank you, Darren. Thank hey. you. I'll let you away. We don't wash your mug this week. <laughs> Um, Thomas, if you're watching, darling, can you add Jen to the breakout room for us, please? Oh, Stevie, Stevie, we can do it as well. Yes, yeah, Stevie can do it too. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't get it, guys. I really don't get it. I understand why, but it just, it really angers me because there's so many people, there's so many people that are, are going to lose their fight for a fit and healthy life. Due to one ignorance about vaping because of the mass propaganda that's been put out there and all the negative stories, um, and two, be, do you know what I mean? Because of not have been able to be open, to, accessible to these things. I mean, we all know how much it's changed our lives. Here she is. Hello, Hi. beautiful. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Hey. I guess you be so, I don't understand what all just happened here. Like, I went to one room and then I went to another oh, room. It's fine. You're with us now. Don't okay. worry. Right. <laughs> right, go tell everybody what is happening over in the States because it's just... Well, no, I mean, I'm going to explain why it's happening in the States. I mean, I, 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 mean, I guess I shouldn't assume that everybody knows what's happening in the States, but... Um, I'm going to explain why. Um, what well, what is happening over here is that yes, they're they're trying to completely decimate the industry. Um, we had originally we had the deeming rules, the reg, demon demon deeming whatever you want to call them. Regulations came out in 2016. They were supposed to go in effect by 2018. Um, we got a four year extension uh, to go to 2022. But what has happened was um, several anti-vaping groups uh, like the American Association of Pediatrics, Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, and lots of others all got together, leaving the vaping industry out of it. Okay, they didn't even, they didn't even bring the vaping industry. In. They got together and they sued the FDA. Yeah. Okay. They sued the FDA and they said, you didn't have the authority to extend that deadline. Now, from what I've been able to read, they did have a leg to stand on. Apparently, they didn't go through the proper channels to extend it. But um, they said, you didn't have the authority to extend the deadline, which sounds stupid, but they won. Um, they won, and the FDA lost. Okay, so the judge came down and said, okay, well, the AAP et al. said, um, we think you need to bump the deadline up to four months from now. And the FDA came along and said, well, that's ridiculous. There's no way that we could possibly process that kind of paperwork in four months. You need to give us, give us no less than 10 months. And so the judge came down last week. It was on Friday, as a matter of fact, no, Thursday um, last week and said, okay, you've got 10 months. So as of right now, May 12th, 2020 is doomsday. All right, that's it. Um, there are several lawsuits out there that are trying to get this overturned. Um, there's one lawsuit out there that actually seems to have some legs because apparently the person who signed off on the deeming regs to begin with did not have the authority to do that. Um, they were not, I can't, I don't remember all the terminology, but basically they were not in a position to be able to do that. Um, and that's, that's a legal loophole that we're kind of leaning on right now. Um, we thought the FDA would try to appeal this because the FDA doesn't like being told what to do. Um, and it sets a dangerous precedent, actually. I mean, the FDA has been already given like this amount of authority and to just have a court system come in and be like, no, you can't do this, um, really undermines their authority overall. Yeah. So, um, we thought the FDA would appeal that and, and keep the appeals kind of locked up and dragging on until basically the 2022 deadline anyway, mm -hmm. um, but they didn't. Um, they actually so they're said, not appealing it, that's a surprise. Wow, they literally just sat down and took it, fucking hell. Um, they said, no, we, we agree with this and we're gonna do it. Shit. Um, 
So in other words, the FDA has had a big backhander from somebody to say that they agree with this and that's why they're going to do it. Yeah. That's why um, they're not appealing it. They've been paid not to appeal it. Yeah. The well, I mean, is blatant. And I mean, you know, in, in maybe their eyes, um, their mission is aligned. I'm not sure. Um, but when it comes down to why are they doing this, right? I mean, you've got you guys over there. You've got the Royal College of Physicians saying 95% is less harmful. You've got the Public Health of England saying switch to vaping. You've got hospitals that are building vape shops inside the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, and, you know, I mean, basically just vape, 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 raw, 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 right? And, uh, you know, while your regulations are so much easier to deal with, um, you know, and I know that your your testing is done per flavor, not per skew, but per flavor, uh, which is amazing. Um, I mean, we, you know, we obviously couldn't bring all 200 plus flavors over there and be tested, but, uh, you know, it's not, it's not devastating, right? It could be, it, it can be done. It, the thing is, it's not, you know, we, we can still vape. We have a very open uh, accessibility to vape now and it's getting more and more open and more and more accepted as time is going on in this country. So we're very blessed here. Well, you are. And what's happening though, and I used to have a, I used to have it written down on one of my notebooks here and I don't remember if I still have it. Um, be supportive. I ended up making a short video about this. Okay, is it there? There is a very. Yeah, actually, I shared it onto the bitches. Have you? Yes, I shared it onto the bitches when you put it out. Thank you. Um, don't forget your faves. I wouldn't forget your faves, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there is a very, very simple and very disturbing answer as to why this is happening over here, and it's all about money. It is all about money. Okay. You've got number one, okay. It over in the UK, you guys have socialized healthcare, yeah. right? And it it benefits your government to keep the people healthy. Yep. You don't have to pay for extra health care. You don't have to pay for extra treatments. And you know, your people are healthier. They don't need as much medical care, right? Over here in the United States, it's profitable to keep people sick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, people yeah, who are Darren, sick. Darren's just asking there, what what will the state of personal importation be to the US afterwards? Are, are vapors in the US still going to be able to buy like vape gear from uh, China or from Europe or? I have no idea. I think there. that's going to go on a state by state level because I know I, there's already some states that have totally banned any online sales. They have. Now, I will say that there are states that have banned online sales. Um, however, um, there is, I will say that the FDA, and they've even publicly stated this, um, they have not even considered really focusing on hardware yet. They are only focusing on e-liquid. Um, and, and to me, I think it's sort of like cutting the dragon off at the neck, basically, because if you don't have liquid, how are you going to vape, right? Um, to, I, I, I would put money on that their next move is going to be banning um, sales of liquid nicotine to anybody without a license. Yeah, I think that um, the obvious state isn't at the next step. Yeah. But it comes with, I mean, there, there are so many layers to this. Okay, so you've got, it's, it's more profitable to keep people sick. People who are sick, they see doctors more often, they buy more medications, and they often go broke um, just trying to stay alive, right? Gyms is a higher. You've got, um, and, and plus people who are sick, they die sooner, okay? They're not pulling on social security. They're not pulling on disability. They're not, you know, pulling off of government funded programs as much. Um, but the most disturbing thing to me is the taxes, okay? Oh. Right now you've got states that are imposing impossible taxes, okay? I mean, Minnesota, and Vermont have 92% tax on vaping products, okay? Now, you say, why? Why is this? Why are they doing that, right? Well, here's the thing, okay? They are losing money hand over fist. And losing money they're not supposed to be depending on, okay? But they're losing money hand over fist for people not smoking, right? Yeah. 
the video that I um, I made illustrated that with 38 or 36 million smokers in the United States today, okay, and that the average pack of cigarettes has about five dollars worth of tax on it, that comes out to 68 billion with a B, 68 billion dollars a year. Okay, even the government thinks that's a lot of money. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have 10 million vapors in the United States. Of those 10 million vapors, you can get, you can probably guess 99% of them were former smokers. Yeah. If those 10 million vapors were still smoking and still paying their $5 a day into the system, that's $18 billion a year. Okay. In their eyes, that's what vaping has stolen from them. They want that $18 billion back. You know, and and people are like, well, you know, we tax, oh, we tax cigarettes that high, you know, so why are you bitching about it? Why are you bitching about it? Hi. But, uh, you know, here's the thing. That tax didn't happen overnight, right? Those taxes started 50 years ago and have gradually increased to the point where they are now. Yeah. Okay. Nobody was going to get away with taxing cigarettes that much overnight. And, but they think they could tax the vaping industry like that overnight because they're trying to recoup that $18 billion a year. Because it goes back to the mass settlement agreement. Well, and that, that as well, there's also the master settlement agreement, which if you don't know what that is, anybody in here doesn't know what that is, that was a deal that was struck. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. So I believe it was uh, Mississippi was the first state, the first state back in the 90s, they sued Big Tobacco. They said, look, our healthcare costs are going through the roof. We cannot afford it. And it's your fault because these are smoking related problems. And they won, all right, they won. It was the biggest court case in history, yeah. right? And then what happened is um, Florida popped up and said, hey, our smoking rates are through the roof. Our healthcare cut, we wanna sue too. Mm-hmm. And they sued and they won. And then Texas said, hey, we are a bunch of cowboys. Everybody here smokes, we wanna sue too. And they won. And then Minnesota did it. Okay, so you got Minnesota, Texas, Mississippi, and Florida. They all sued, they got an astronomical amount of money. I mean, astronomical, the biggest like court case in all of history, all right? So a big tobacco said, okay, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before the other 46 of you do this, let's make a deal. And they did. They made a deal. And they said, okay, we will agree to pay you based on your population, based on your state's population, we will agree to pay you a percentage of our profits every single year. And that's what they do. Okay, so now you're looking at states like California and New York that have the most populations in the entire union get the biggest chunk of the pie. Yeah. All right. Well, the state said, well, uh, Mississippi, Texas, Minnesota, and Florida got all their money up front. We want our money up front too. And Big Tobacco said, well, we're not going to do that. All right. So what these, these states did is actually took out bonds. They took out bonds and loans um, in advance based on the money they thought they were going to get back. They're like, okay, we'll just borrow this money up front and then we'll just pay it back as the money comes in. Well, guess what? Smoking rates started going down. Yeah. So now the payments were dropping and they're not able to pay these bonds back. Okay. They're, they're not able to pay back the loans. No, because they spent all the money on infrastructure and stuff, didn't they? They're panicking. They are panicking. All right. Then vaping comes along and the smoking rates start dropping at an even more drastic rate. All right. I can tell you that in Georgia alone, just the little state of Georgia. Georgia's not, I mean, Georgia is one of the bigger states on the East Coast, but compared to out West, it's a relatively small state. Um, Like we get like $170 million a year, just from big tobacco, just from the master settlement agreement. Yeah, there's massive amounts of money, massive amounts. Anxiety, same only thought about cigarettes, you can't control it, especially people are addicted, just like what happened with alcohol when it was banned. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we all know that prohibition doesn't work, it just does not work. Um, but that's that's the route they're going down. Um, I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a rise in um, black market um, vape gear being smuggled into the country. Uh, there's going to be, you know, they're and it's going to be unsafe. 
yeah, yeah they're, they're already pretty the much criminalizing it as it is anyway they're being so strict about everything um but it's only we're only going to see a rise in more cases like what dj lsb highlighted this week your people are not you're not going to be able start to look she's going to go off in one <laughs> you're, not, you're not going to be able to trust the e-liquids that you're getting you're not going to be able to trust any uh hardware that you're going to be getting delivered because it's all going to be cloned or faked or you know and as you you're just going to see a rise in the black market traders now um selling potentially extremely dangerous equipment it's um it's really really frustrating because I mean Bunny's right I I have sunk six years and everything I have I mean you know I, I, it to lose this is it's your going life. to suck it's your life it is my life I mean it is my my do I know how many yes I do Robbie over twenty thousand businesses across the country and over one hundred thousand jobs Jesus fuck yes. Um, and, and now there are, there are some people who are fighting. I mean, David and I are a very small business. Okay. We make a very modest income. We do a very modest amount of sales to some people. If you were to see our numbers, you might think it's great. We think it's great because it's certainly the most successful business we've ever had. Um, but after materials and expenses, it leaves us a very, very modest income. We are not rich. Okay. Um, there are bigger companies out there apparently these savage liquids actually have submitted the first e-liquid pmta out there um i know that there are other people who are working on theirs uh, bigger companies of course um i actually have been recruited to be part of a task force to see if maybe there's a way to sort of find a poor man's pmta yeah we're calling it the pm pmta <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's a, you know, I, I, strawberry custard and human hair while I play with my hair. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, and you know what? You, I'd be surprised if it was only human hair, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my stomach tum. Yeah. Mm. Yep. But that's just it though. Cigarettes. To, I mean, because ask yourself, this is the thing. People always have so many people even people on my own facebook friends list you know people i went to high school with people i've known they're like oh my god vaping is so bad it's so much worse than cigarettes and i'm like ask yourself a question exactly don't be why are they trying to decimate vaping and leave tobacco products on the market we know tobacco kills we know that one in two users will die of a smoking-related disease. We know this. Okay. See, this is the thing, though, Jen, do you know what I mean? We are already the converted. We are the educated because we've taken the time to educate ourselves on this and make the choice that vaping is for us and better. So the difficulty that we have is that you're then trying to educate the sheep who follow the mainstream media propaganda mm. and swallow all the bullshit do you know what I mean? And they think that you're crazy with what you're telling them. This oh, that yeah. that's the battle, and it's the biggest battle for vaping worldwide. You know, but especially for you over in the States and Australia, Thailand, you know, the, the countries oh, yeah. are just banning it outright. Um, because you've got these people who think, well, oh, the government said that you can't do this, so that must be right. Oh, it's insane. It is it is absolutely insane. I got I had to get into it this morning, not well this afternoon, I should say, with um I'm not gonna name names, um, but somebody who is uh, part of a group that that really likes to, you know, break or not what's the word, uh not break down. Um uh, analyze not break. Analyze, yeah. Penalize, I guess, yeah, but like, you know, uh cut down on you know companies that have fall uh, have crappy practices you know the oh, crappy okay, yeah, know what you're about, yeah. and and they they are they're really good about you know exposing companies for what they are yeah. um <clears throat> but the, wheedling they, out the fake news basically and i and yeah and and you know and there there is there's a lot of it out there you know mm -hmm. and, and 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 you know getting people to to get on social media and and you know give them facts 
and give them, you know, like, look, you know, if this study comes out and, you know, and it's blatantly false and it can be proven to be false, hey, look, you know, look, this is not real. But um, apparently there is a, some anti-vaping group that has been uh, formed uh, by two children. And it apparently it's not public knowledge that this is by two children. Um, was this on the said group that you're talking about? What, this what? Was this on the said group that you're talking about? I don't know. I, uh, I'm not sure, but they apparently are here in Georgia. Um, and um, their father is a doctor. So it's, it's very obvious that the doctor is pushing his children to yeah. push this agenda out. Okay. And they're having a contest who can make the best anti vaping meme. Right. And now they've got this other group pave parents against vaping. Oh, don't even parents. fucking start me on name. Don't even okay. fucking start me. That's and so boy. now they're, and they're supporting them. Right. And, yeah. and I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, look, the their children and they're they're working against children vaping and so are paid for that matter parents against vaping okay i get it we don't want the kids on the vape we are we our goals are aligned here okay we don't want the kids on the vape we jump through hoop after hoop after hoop to make sure the kids are not vaping right um but the fact that they're touting off incorrect facts you know oh we need to go educate these people uh, we don't need to educate children <laughs> this is a very slippery slope okay we don't need to go educate children about vaping we need to take a breath here okay yeah it's see i personally think we do need to educate children as a parent, I think we do need to educate them, but educate them in a way so that you're teaching them to make the right choices. Where does Trump stand on vaping? Um, Robbie, that is a good question. Um, we have not gotten any definitive word on where he stands on vaping per se. Um, we know that Trump is against overregulation. We know that Trump is all for small business. Um, we know that, I mean, it, it's one of those things where if it's not on his radar, which I can't imagine it's not, but if it's not on his radar, you know, we we need to get it on his radar. David believes that it was back in 2016 when the deeming regs first dropped before he was elected president, um, that the deeming regs dropped, I think it was on May 10th, if I'm not mistaken. On May 11th, Trump put out a list of regular uh, he said he was absolutely going to stop the overregulation of the FDA and he listed out 14 areas that he felt were overregulated and that you know what he was going to work on when he became president tobacco was number 14 now it sucks that tobacco is at the end of the list but if you saw the rest of the list you would understand that tobacco was exactly where it needed to be all right, so whether or not he's even gotten to that part of the list, I don't know. I know that more regulations have been scrapped under the Trump administration than any other administration ever. He invoked a law that said, for every new regulation you make, you better scrap two. And that's what's been happening. As new regulations come out, two of them drop off the books. <sighs> Either way, long term, it's not looking good for you. It's, it's really not looking good. No, when no. Are you moving to the UK? Pardon? When are you moving to the UK? <laughs> oh, believe me, as I said in chat, believe me, it is definitely something we have talked about and not just fleetingly. Um, we definitely talked about it before the election um, in 2016 because... I mean, we, we'd been long gone by now if other people had made it into the White House. I won't say who. <laughs> yeah, well. it's, but, you know, know. It, it, the whole thing is, I mean, we've known that this has been coming for a number of years, haven't we? It's gradually been building up to this over the last few years. Um, it's, it's that feeling of, you know, wanting to fight and wanting to educate, but feeling powerless. 
It is true because we can't get out there. I, I I know maybe some of you in chat probably are follow me on Facebook and you my personal page on Facebook and you saw a note that I published yesterday and it's gotten a lot of attention. Um, you know, it's been shared around a lot. It's it's got a lot of comments and likes and whatnot. Um, but it's so difficult. Like we live in a fishbowl, you know? We live in this fishbowl where we only interact with other vapors. Mm -hmm. We we are not capable. I mean, not, not that we're not capable, but we just don't have the resources to reach outside of our fishbowl, yeah. you know? I mean, <sighs> dibs, I'm better off in Scotland. Yeah. It's so pretty <laughs> there. <laughs> Come to Scotland, we'll look after you. Hang on a second. Um, I think my male lady's here. Hang on. All right, honey. Um, yeah, but it's interesting what Jane's saying, don't you think, girls? Because it, it shows you the progression of where it started a while ago to where we're at now. And you, you can see where it's going to be. It's gone. You can see that it's going to be. Yeah. I think, I think the unfortunate thing is, though, that a lot of um, a lot of people in America have become quite complacent as uh, to what's been going on. Now, they've known this was coming, but they haven't. In my opinion, I don't think they've done enough to prevent it. They could have nipped this in the bud if the if the people had to put their feet in the streets the way that you know they were assuming Kisa was doing on their behalf. I think um, I it, don't. I don't think it's been stopped completely, but it might have been you know not quite as harsh, maybe. There's some truth to what you're saying. I mean, number one, hurting. I mean, I don't know if it's specifically hurting, hurting vapors or hurting people in general, but it's like hurting cats. All right. Um, getting them to do anything is impossible, but yeah. But then they have, then they have no right to complain whenever it all goes tits up because they didn't do enough to prevent it. Right, but you have to understand too who we are up against. Yeah. Right. We are up against. I mean, look. <laughs> we had a guy from uh, Laura Lard, um, more specifically uh, Fontaine. Fon Fontaine. Um, they're the ones who own Blue. You guys have Blues over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. He's a, this is a big tobacco. All right. This is, there's like six big tobacco companies. All right. Uh, this guy comes in, he's from Lorillard. He says, uh, well, we're, he goes, we're one of the smaller big tobacco companies. Right. Um, yeah. We, we only bring in 40 billion a year. All right. You got companies like Philip Morris, mm -hmm. right. Who, and RJ Reynolds, who are in the triple digits billion Right. I mean, he told, he flat out said to us, he said, look, he goes, we get sued all the time. And he goes, it doesn't matter about the master settlement agreement. Doesn't, we get sued all the time. People are always suing us. He goes, and if a hundred thousand dollars will shut them up, we just pay it. Don't care. Right. This is the kind of money we're talking about. The vaping industry, even if we were to all band together under one company is not that strong. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're, you, and, and, and on top of that, we're not, we're not really fighting big tobacco, to be honest with you. Uh, big tobacco doesn't really care about us. All right. It, it, we're fighting big pharma and big pharma is exponentially bigger yeah. than big tobacco. And we're fighting big government and they're the ones who make the rules. Okay. They don't like the fact that we're stealing money from them in their eyes. We're not from stealing point, money from them. From my point of view, from obviously being around <laughs> yourselves and friends in the states and over the last three years from what i can see in the opinion i've formed is that the the fight um, against these regulations in the state has states has been very disjointed and it's been on a state-by-state -state basis now we get it the uk is tiny in comparison yeah. to the united states right yeah. absolutely tiny but i think my personal opinion is if there had been a more unified approach to fighting this as the US states together, you might have had more success than it being on a state to state basis. It's been very disjointed. Without question. There's no, there's absolutely no question about that. Um, and that is what the Vapor Technology Association has been trying to do. I believe they have 27 states under their belt now. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but they have, they, they definitely have a majority of state and state smoke-free associations um, under their umbrella now, which yeah. is fantastic. And, and they really, that's what they've been trying to do for a long time. Um, it's, it is frustrating because it is disjointed and it is such a large country. I mean, there's 
330 million people that live here, okay, yeah. over the course of, I don't even know how many square, th how many thousands of square miles. Yeah. Um, and I mean, really, like the, the UK itself, I, I think one time Aries and I did this, we dropped the state of Georgia and the state of Arkansas on top of the UK, and it basically was the same. Like, you know, we could get two states easily to band together and do make make a change, right? But it's not two states; it's, it's fifty. Exactly. And, and a lot of those states are, are are just not listening. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, I think you know, it's like they always say: apathy is the enemy of progress, doesn't it? I think that people, you know, they're not prepared to get up and fight for something until it personally affects them. And now people are starting to see that it could affect them. They want to do something about it. But it's too little too late. They should have been on that bandwagon two years ago. Oh, yeah. It's 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 absolutely true. But it's it has been, you know, I don't know when the VTA was formed. But, um, you know, that has been their mission all along is to create a national advocacy group you know something that 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 all 50 states can get behind yeah. and and even after I, I think they've been around for about three years three maybe a little over three mm -hmm. even after that all that time they still haven't gotten all 50 states on board yet you know um because it's just not that easy yeah. you know not every state has a state association yeah. um you know, some of them have more than one, uh, you know, and it, 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 there's it's such a massive scale that you're trying to work. It's such a big country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happens to you if you keep trading after the 10 months is up? Um, I don't know. I'm going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, Jen, Jen is also an honorary bitch. She's right up there with us. <laughs> this is one strong mama <laughs> that's an understatement if ever there was one um, um, yeah no I'm gonna I'm gonna find out I really hope I really hope that he's do you know what I mean that he's can pull something out the heart and <laughs> and fight 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 the best he's can I mean like I said we're working on it uh we we're not giving up yet um you know, we are working on plan Bs. If you guys haven't tried David's coffee yet, please, by I all means. I think you should send the bitch of some Higgies juice and we'll review it for you. I would love to do that. There you go. That would be amazing. No, I really don't know what's going to happen, though, Robbie. I've not I had any Higgies for a, a long time. Well, it's, it's nice to actually meet you. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you got our colored hair sisters I've, right yeah, here, right? I've, I've never met you before ever, so hi. <laughs> hi. Sorry. Um, I should have introduced when I sh every, every Tuesday night, guys, when you see the Higgy six thing get put up in the bitches, this is this is Higgy. This is Jane, for those that don't know. That I knew, but I never put face to a name. So Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um I'm uh um scary, don't cross her, she's fucking scary. <laughs> I really don't what? I'm saying you're scary, don't cross you. <laughs> I'm not scary. It's fine. Apparently I'm scary too, so it's okay. There you go. Okay, good. Well, you'll fit right in with us then. We're all a scary bunch of bitches right here, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> and so Rob there Robbie is uh is saying David's coffee is sensational. Um we you know there are avenues, right? I mean um, we're going to look into what is the loopholes we have for selling um, nicotine solution, like 100 milligram, um, because there is not any, there's no law against us, uh, actually even says it in the guidance. I printed it out and bound it and everything so I could read it. Mm -hmm. um, zero milligram appears to be exempted. Right. I don't think, oh, thank you, Robbie. Um, I don't think, though, that short fills are an option. Um, there, there is a, a specific wording. I'd have to go in and find it again, but specific wording that says um, where this ruling says any product that is reasonably assumed to be used with a tobacco product is also a tobacco product, okay? And that's where we thought, okay, well, zero milligram counts. Yeah. Actually, the way that they meant it was uh, or they explain it better and I can't remember how they word it but they explain it basically that a short fill okay yeah. a short fill obviously 
means to have nicotine added to it. Therefore, it's a tobacco product. Yeah. So I don't think that short fills are going to be a loophole option here. With um, small bottles of concentrate. Alone? I was going to say long fills, but yeah. that's right. probably still associated under the same. Brand. What's a long fill? A long fill is where you literally get your um your concentrates and you add your own uh, PGBG and nick. It okay. just doesn't come in the big bottle. It just comes in a, 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 a small bottle, which is just the concentrate. So you have to then put it into a bigger bottle yourself. Which we already do that. Yeah. We already sell concentrates. We started doing that a while back. Uh, for you DIYers out there, if you had any Higgy favorites, um, please, please take a look at our website because we do have a lot Peach of concentrates. Peach Tree Street. Peach Tree Street. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not normally uh, it's not normally like single because it's um you mixes um right you just it's add. not single flavors because yeah, I mean, yeah yeah basically somebody says well why can't they why won't you sell like the single flavors and I was like well the fact of the matter is is we don't buy in big enough bulk for us to be able to give you a good price on those yeah. right. Um, you can buy them directly from the manufacturer for a lot cheaper than you could buy them from us. So, um, but what we can offer you that no one else can is Higgy Signature flavors. Yes. So, uh, it, I don't have the clip. I can't do the clip, dude. Listen, guys, if you if you haven't been on to Higgy's site, go and have a look because the thing that Jen and David do is you can actually go on and mix your juice specifically to your requirements. So your nicotine, how much PG-VG ratio you want, flavors you want. If you want something a wee bit, you know, more concentrate in it, then you can have more concentrate. If you don't want the flavor in your face, as Jen says, then you can have it less. You know, so that's the beauty of what you do, that you can do it. And because, you know, a lot of us are not in the States, we're over here, you know, there's certain things that, how do I put this, Jen? There's certain things that we can get that maybe our friends in the States can't get. Is that a way of putting That's it? That's absolutely true. Um, there yeah. are several flavors on the website that only you guys in the UK can see. Um, people here in the United States cannot see them. For example, my, I don't have the bottle out because I have a tank. I don't have to fill it as much. Um, but my, my Earl Grey tea um, flavor. Sorry, that, Britt. Breeze is saying there she likes it in her face. That could be maybe for a different show entirely, Breezy. <laughs> hey, Breeze. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what that means. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, my Earl Grey tea flavor that I love, that I vape every day and mm -hmm. cannot stop vaping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys in the UK can get that. You guys in the States can't. You can yeah. get the concentrate in the States. But you can't get this flavor. Cool. <laughs> the Zans put the link in, guys. So if you want to go and have a look, have a look. And you got a sale on a flash sale this weekend. Yes. Um, our website was down. We didn't know it. Hey, Joy. I, and we're not sure exactly how long it was down. It could have been down for over a day, and we were not aware of it. Um, and nobody bothered to tell us. <laughs> Usually, I get a message from somebody saying, "Hey, I'm having trouble with your website," um, but I didn't get a message. Uh, so I, I, it was sort of working, but if you tried to go into any specific product, it, it would error out, which is why we didn't know what was happening because the back end was working just fine. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then David, uh, was, was screwing around with it. He's actually put, trying to get a module installed for the auction. We have our, our GSFA oh. auction is coming up. Um, it's coming up in about a month. Uh, August 17th will be the first day of the auction. And um, I know a lot of you guys in the room love to come to the auction and love to get some great deals on some awesome vape products. Um, and I've already got a bunch of people already committed to sending in stuff. So I'm really excited about it. But um, he's trying to install a module, sort of like an eBay module um, that will allow you to bid online. And Thank you. When it'll have a set time, just like eBay, and when you win the uh, win the item, then you as a user are allowed to put that item into your cart. Right. So you can bid on more than one item. So anything we don't get to, or maybe some stuff that we do like in the week between or beforehand and even afterward, we'll be putting up as an auction item on the website. That's cool. That's a good idea. So yeah, so because last last year this spilled over into three weekends and I we just like you've been exhausted. Do that again. 
it also is a good idea though for people that maybe can't um be there for the live stream that it gives them an opportunity to you know pick up a bargain and you know to help you guys out with what you're trying to do as well if they're not going to be able to make the live options it's given yeah. them another option lets them get in with their bits yeah yeah so um not everything will be up on the website i mean obviously we're going to have some stuff that will only be done live uh, yeah. But, you know, there are going to be some items, you know, probably we end up getting so much juice in. Um, we still have a couple of items here that never got paid for or didn't get bid on last year. So we're going to put those up as test items uh, beforehand. <gasps> making a stand. Oh, yes, she is. I gave her some themes, too. I don't know if she wants me to spoil that or not. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen Breeze's stand, Zane? I haven't now. What are you saying? Oh, my desk is too much <laughs> of a mess to show you. I've got one right here. But it's so very beautiful. conveniently, very conveniently placed there, Jen. <laughs> I know, but my desk is such a mess. I don't know if I could show you. Days, like Jane, for God's sake. I know. Yeah, are we going to have to get Gwen on the case? <laughs> yes. It's very, yeah, very we all know possible. how good Gwen is at making people tidy a desk. Oh, which I don't know why, if she could make me do it. Which is why I have never shown Gwen my desk. <laughs> but I have oh this God. beautiful stand. Oh, I have it. Okay, I got she does. It. She yeah, makes she makes amazing stands. Beautiful. And I won it. I won it from the other side like a year ago, and I love it so much. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to show this off here. I can't. <laughs> and my coil master sitting right here. All right, let's see what. You got this. I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. Move my coil master. All right, let's push. Here we go. All right. Oh, wait, oh there you go. You can see it. That, that is amazing. And it's full. So it actually probably looks more impressive when it's empty, but it is full right now. And um, it's got, there's a, there's a, a row here for Addies. There's a little little platform here that I've got some mods on. There's another platform up here that I keep batteries on. There's other little little things on the side here, like little turrets that you can put um, addies on um, all the way around. So it makes it look like a little castle. Um, there's a drawer in the back. Oh my God. Ouch. Um, I've got some coils in. I've got, like there's. That is just awesome isn't that That's precious amazing. yeah yeah stuff's amazing mm -hmm. isn't that wonderful right there look look ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's awesome. <laughs> your desk just to show us thank you <laughs> i did i did look at this i got crap everywhere but um yeah no she does a wonderful job and the one she made last year looked like a theater it was all done up in like old 1970s wood paneling mm -hmm. And, and it had, a, I think RJ had done some fractals on it and um, it was set up almost like a, it almost looked like a little puppet theater. Um, it had like a little railing on it. It was, oh, it was beautiful. Who was it that she did the dragon one for that I saw? There was a dragon one. That Shorty was, got that one. Literally gorgeous. Oh, the dragon one was out. Yeah, Shorty that got that one. World. Yeah. So um, anyway, yes. The, we're gushing over you now, Breeze, but your, your stands are absolutely beautiful and amazing. So yeah, if you haven't awesome. checked them out, go and check out Breeze's stands as well. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, and, and she always comes up with something. To, oh, I got this from her, too, actually. Um, this was a consolation prize um, that she made. From, look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it was like it's like a real like cigar or pipe ashtray that she <laughs> awesome. off and attached to a stand here. So look at that. That is brilliant. <laughs> Hi Ronnie. Dan thought it was a teapot. Hey Ronnie, how are you doing, darling? Oh yeah, no, they are fantastic. And she always comes up with some theme. You know, I, I saw she did one that was like a fairy theme. Um, oh gosh, I can't even think of some of the themes you've done. I did give her some ideas, though, of, of some themes to go with. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm very proud that the dragon one was my I was my suggestion. Actually, I gave her the dragon theme. Maybe one for her in the science related. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing for dragons, Jen. I, I collect them I, I, to the point I even have one tattooed on my arm. 
Um, I absolutely adore dragons. Um, my coffee table is a dragon with a big glass top on it. Uh, it's I got a phoenix right on the side. Dragons I everywhere. Here. I just love them. I've got a hummingbird I somewhere. Phoenix. <laughs> Can't really see it. I can see the wings. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Hang on. That's my hummingbird. Aww. Is oh, that nice. Sweet? <laughs> that's cool. I'm going to wait until I get skinny before I get my next tattoo because I don't want to pay twice the money. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so thank you so much for coming on, darling. That was much, much appreciated. Is there any questions they want to ask Jen about what we've been discussing? Yeah, I was trying to keep up with chat, but I, 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 I tend to focus on the camera a lot. So if I missed any questions, please, uh, Jen's desk is wood. Jen's desk is particle board covered with, <laughs> with a wood contact paper. It's cheap as fuck. Uh, <laughs> I can't especially actually, it wasn't cheap as fuck. I think I paid like four hundred dollars for this desk when I bought it, but I bought it back in like nineteen ninety three. So um, yeah, I think I got. Well, it's money. lasted you well. You've had your money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's awesome. So our, our beautiful Em is going on a Mediterranean cruise for two weeks. Oh, I know, right? That sounds delightful. Oh, that's that's so deal, deal. When you think about it, me and Darren are going on a cruise too. Yeah. We're going over to see you. Yeah. We're getting on the boat as well. <laughs> yeah. We've got our next, um, you know how a couple of years ago we started organising meets in Glasgow at the local vape shop in Glasgow. So our next one is on the 3rd of August that we're having. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We would have travelled up for it, but I'm not here. I know, I'm trying to get Chris to come up with, with Frank. Yes. I have to meet. Have, have you seen Frank the pug, Jen? Have you seen I, this is Frank the pug? I have not. Right, Chris. Oh. I don't know whether Chris is still watching. Frank is the star Frank, of the Frank show. Frank the pug is adorable. Chris, can he, you let Frank in? He's our mascot. Frank yeah. and Pop. That's his name. So he, his name is Frank, Frank but he's pug. a pug. So we a sort pug. Of oh, okay. Because because when he walks, his butt wiggles. So we've like sort of made like one of his nicknames is Puggle because he's a pug and he wiggles Puggle. Um, well, Puggle is a real type of dog. It's a yeah. Puggle, Pug and Beagle, I think. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we call him the Puggle, uh, Frank Didn't Man, Frank yeah. Pug. So sweet. He's when he was so when he was a, when he was a little chubby puppy, he was like a little potato. <laughs> he was. I used to call him. I used to call him Potato with Legs. Mm. <laughs> I do so love adorable. Pugs. I'll, I'll see if I can go and find him. I don't know where Oh, he is. I love him. I I have, to, uh, yeah, we nicknamed him Tony P. Jane, Jane loves her, her doggies. I do love the dogs. Yeah, how, to, how are yours? Oh, they're... Yeah, well, if you come to our Sunday show, they usually make an appearance during our Sunday show. Um, um, but yeah, they're... Well, they're getting older. Uh, Miha's gone deaf um, and oh. she's blind in one eye. But it made 4th of July a dream. I'll bet it did. <laughs> I'll bet it did. Because she did not hear a damn thing. <laughs> It's oh, like yeah, uh, Lola the pug, the Irish pug that can't run. I know that Lola's really famous over here, but that wee dog passed away but two years ago. Yeah. Yes, his yeah. gig for president. There he is. There's the pug. Oh. See you, but <laughs> he's so cute. But he's pure mischief, Jen. He is pure mischief. Is it nice oh. there, Mister? He's so cute. <laughs> He is adorable. I just love him. Oh my gosh, I love him too. Hey, hi, Frank. <laughs> He's me <wee> tongue. Just... <laughs> um, have you ever? Um, is it is Lena your like real name or your screen name? I don't know what to call it. It is my screen name. Oh, okay. Our screen name. Um, real name's Emily. Oh. Hello, Emily. Hi. <laughs> have boy. you ever seen um, uh, Loka the pug? I have. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yes, Fizgig is president now, um, or she's running for president. I should say. Uh, that started with Tetleyman. Tetleyman, uh, every time he saw Fizgig on the screen, he'd say Fizgig for president. Yeah. Then Roger Sunderland, or he better known as RS. Yeah. Um, 
he he was watching her. Uh, we were we went to Baltimore for a family reunion, and um, the BTA conference was the following Tuesday, so we stayed in DC. And I said, well, you know, I don't really want to take the dog to DC because she'll just have to stay in a hotel room all day long. So you know, I asked Roger if he wouldn't mind watching her for a couple of days, and he did. And um, Roger and Joyce had a bl- had a blast with her. And when I came to pick her up, she was wearing a cape that said. <laughs> Fizz gig for president. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. That was epic. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, oh, Fizz gig from brilliant. the Dark Crystal. Thank you, a True Blue. You're one of the few people who ever make that connection. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it it yes today is RS's birthday actually. It amazes me at how often I have to uh, I have to explain. Oh, that. it's RS's birthday today. Oh, yes. good stuff. I'll, I'll get him in scuba show later. Wish him luck. Okay. He's sleepy because he's actually not moving. Yeah, you can see that. He's normally fighting to get down and run about to mischief, isn't he? Yep. But yeah, I have to, I, I, it amazes. I figured anybody over the age of 35 would have seen the Dark Crystal. No, and, never seen uh, it. I, I see, there you go. Very I've nice. seen it, but it was a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> well, Fizz Gig is the round little furry thing that pitches a fit whenever Kira tries to leave him behind. Yeah. And that Oof. is my dog. She's Pitchels. a little brown furry fuzzball that pitches an absolute fit whenever I leave her behind. She's very cute, though. <laughs> she is. She's very cute. <laughs> adorable. Here you go. Up, up close, pug. Hey, ankle pug. Say hi. Oh, let me see the tongue. Say hi. hi. See the tongue. Mm-hmm. He's like, what the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> Pick your bottom. Good boy. So cute. Well, guys, that's a time up. Guilt I fly. I'm squeeing about it every chance I get. Squee! Well, they're, they're making a new release on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is that a sci fi fantasy mystery sci fi type thing? It is, yes. Uh, more fun to see this side and uh based on a, it's on a different world but it is done entirely in puppets uh jim henson no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> and it's not like muppety puppets though they're right, they're, okay. they're really very intricate and i mean i, I remember I, I saw this movie i was like eight i saw in the theaters and then i saw it again when i was like in my 20s and i'm like why did this not scare me it's actually a little dark yeah, and but dark and take it out just out of curiosity then but it doesn't yeah. sound like anything i think um, all that loves push but hey that's just me <laughs> anyway, but yes, netflix is doing a the netflix is doing a prequel uh type deal on uh for the dark crystal uh next month i believe so yay mm-hmm. you know, so so my darling thank you very very much for coming on and educating us it was wonderful to have you on as thank always it's been me. too long it will thank not be as long next me. time okay <laughs> <laughs> um sorry i was just i, I zoned out there admiring frank yeah mm-hmm. so uh, do you want to give your goodbyes jen you go first honey and then pass it on Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, thank you for having me. Um, I hope that I educated some of you guys and kind of let you know what's going on over here in the States. And if there's anything that, that you guys can do to help out, we will let you know um, because it's a mess over here. Mm-hmm. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Bunny? Bunny? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Jen, thank you for uh, joining us this evening. It's always a pleasure having you here, my darling, and you're welcome anytime. Uh, you are basically an honorary bitch, so yeah, you're more than welcome to join us anytime. Uh, okay, so there you go. She's owning that shit. Nice one. Uh, you guys in chat, thank you very much for uh, stopping in. It's always a pleasure having you guys here. You guys are why we do this anyway. So yeah, without you, we wouldn't be here. So yay, big thanks for that. Uh, Gail and Ems, of course, is always an absolute pleasure casting with you uh, every week. Um, Ems, you jammy bitch, enjoy your cruise. I'm going to be so jealous. I'll make sure to send lots of photos. Yeah, she's yeah, going to she's going to torment us the whole time with, oh look, I'm in Barcelona. Oh look, I'm here. I'm here. I u't uh, Yeah, I know, right? There'll be lots of like, <laughs> you know, cocktail, uh, selfies with cocktails and whatnot, and all these glamorous backdrops and everything. I'm going to be so pissed. But yes, yeah, <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, we will see you when you get back. Uh, I will pass it over on that note to Ems so that she can give you her goodbyes. See you folks. But yeah, thank you for joining us. It's nice to finally meet you. Nice to finally meet you too, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, Frank. Me, oh, see, there's the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you to everyone that joined us in chat. And I am not even sorry that I'm leaving, I have to say. I don't blame you, darling. Not, not sorry in the... No, I'd be in a heartbeat if I could. <laughs> it's, been, it's been years and years since I've had a proper holiday, so I'm, I'm going to make the absolute most of it. But yes, yeah. it's going to be a while till I see you guys, obviously. So obviously yeah. enjoy yourselves. I'm sure the show will go on just as well without me. So make sure you obviously come back. And How long will you be gone? Three weeks. Empire Code. Three? Three. Three weeks. Wow. Yeah. Remember, Ems, remember the Empire Code? Yes, obviously my gorgeous partner who I always forget all the time uh, <laughs> is our gorgeous ones. <laughs> so yes, on the website, BOE10, 10% off. Get yourself some Enigma because it is orgasm sexual, sexual stuff. It's not, he's taken my orgasm tablet. Oh, has he? Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, try try both just to be safe. Um, yes, you guys really do need this stuff in your life. It's amazing. But yes, get yourself some because it's good shit. And say goodbye, Frankel. Bye bye, Frankel. Bye, Frankel. Bye, Frankel Bug. <laughs> right, guys. So thank you so much, everybody, as always, for coming in and joining us. A um, couple of things. Uh, if you are looking for a show later on tonight remember that you have Salford on at 11 and then we always have uh, on at on one. no Salford is not going to be on tonight um he's had a few problems with his health this week and unfortunately today Mr Salford had to uh have his dog put to sleep so he's not oh going to be on. no oh sorry Dave that's terrible yeah per it's sure well. so there's no Salford tonight but we have scuba at one o'clock and we have Vape Stew at 3am, 3, 3 um, our time. Pain in the if you're looking for something else to amuse you. We also, if you look, look on the Bitches page, guys, I put a wee menu up. You'll see what's going to be on for the next few weeks. Next week, we have a very, very special guest. We have finally yes. persuaded her to show her face on camera. Yes, we And I'm not here. God damn it. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's only going to be the first of many. We are going to get this, this woman sorted. So oh yeah, definitely. The beautiful Liz Cavalcade will be on with us next week. Um, she's a classy bitch, so it's going to be very interesting because you never know what's going to come out of her mouth. So yes, it will be great fun. So we have that next week. Um, I just want to thank you all. And can I just reiterate, guys, the, the news that we spoke about at the beginning about Vape and Smurf, who we all know within the community. Um, Please pass the news around. If you're in any groups that he's been in, can you please let admin know um, yeah. and just spread it around as much as possible because that is not the type of person that we want in this vape community. It might seem harsh and it might seem mob-like, but I don't give a shit because at the end of the day, his victims are the ones that should be getting our thoughts and our feelings and I'm not going to encourage anything like that around us. 100% agree. It's like so, when we thought well, somebody died, but it's like worse. Yeah. It's disgusting. You know, like, it's so much worse than it, I, I'm speechless. It is. So thank you so much. We love you all. Uh, Darren, thank you for casting for us, darling. Uh, husband, thank you so much for our new beginning cast screen that he did for us and all the rest of it. And we yeah. love you all. We shall see you all. Uh, it'll be Bunny and myself and Liz next week. And um, we'll be sunning herself on a cruise ship with a cocktail in her hand, no doubt. Mm -hmm. um, no, they were jealous. Anyway, no. we'll see you all <laughs> next week. Have a great week, everybody. Look after yourselves. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys.